Hello friends, welcome back to my culinary diary. Today I'm going to show you how to make homemade satay. Well, it is, these are the ingredients. We need 4 cloves of garlic, 2 lemongrass, 1 big onion that is chopped like this, and some ginger about 2 inch, and some turmeric powder about 2 teaspoon. So let's blend all these ingredients into the blender. Remember to just add some water, about half cup of water because you can't dry, you can't blend it when it's dry. You need some water to blend this base. So once you blend, just keep aside. Alright, let me show you some of the dry ingredients as well. So we need about 2 tablespoons of fennel seed, 2 teaspoon of cumin seed and some coriander seed about two tablespoon blend it and make a dry dry paste as this and just keep aside all right these are the things for chicken marination well i have a half kilo of chicken here that is already washed with salt water so you add about two teaspoon of turmeric powder about three tablespoon of dry uh, spice masala just now I have already blended and these are the wet paste that I blended just now add about four tablespoon together with this add three tablespoon of brown sugar well brown sugar is much healthier than the white one so it's optional all right then you add about two tablespoon of oil Alright, and I also add some salt to this and give a good stir. Mix it well, make sure it all blends well and marinate this chicken for about 6 hours. So after marinate, after marination is over, you can just hit the pan and add a few tablespoons of marjorie and fry this chicken along. Remember to fry this chicken in low medium flame so that it, it does not burn easily. Well this recipe is from my mom and she's the one is demonstrating here. So stay tuned till end of this till end of this video to get more tips so these are the fried chicken pieces well i use chicken breast so these are the uh, chicken breast is most suitable for making satay meat so i already fried and these are the outcome so you just keep aside okay get about one cups of peanut and heat up the pan once the oil gets heat up, you may add in the peanuts. And just fry it well. Remember, it still needs to be in low medium flame, not too high, so that it does not get burns easily. Because when the peanut burns up, it tastes bitter and the peanut sauce is not going to be that good so just remember when you fry it make sure it's medium low flame and do not burn it all right so these are the perfect color where well, it's just about golden brown all right just crush it about this so together with this we also need other ingredients like two inch of ginger one stalk of lemongrass uh, three pieces of bird eye chili one big onion that's chopped like this and about three to four cloves of garlic and and I've already soaked it earlier 10 pieces of dry chili with the hot water and I drain out the water and just keep aside so all these ingredients will go into the blender and you're going to make a thick paste a thick chili paste Remember to add some water, but not too much. And blend it well. 
Next, heat up the pan with some amount of oil. To make this sauce, we need a little bit more of oil and take about two pandan leaves, make a knot and put into this oil. This is actually to give a good fragrance to the entire of sauce making process. So once the chili paste is cooked well, we can add the next ingredient such as the, I have the brown sugar here, sorry, palm sugar that's called also known as gula melaka, about 100 gram that I crushed it and I'm going to add this along with this chili paste sauce. Just stir it well with the sauce. Make sure it blends well. And the chili paste water that I blended earlier, I add some water into the blender and I keep aside some water. So this one will be very useful for making the sauce as well. You can add about, about half cup of water and mix in blender just to get this water and then you add along with this sauce. Stir it well Together with this, we're going to add other ingredients This um, 3 tablespoon of tamarind juice Make sure it is thick Make it thick uh, juice And just add this and mix it well All right, next. Next, I'm going to add with some water as well. Just add about one third cup of water. And add some salt to taste. Mix it well. Make sure the salt is blending well with the sauce. Now finally, add the crushed peanut into the sauce and just give a good stir. We're almost there and it's almost done making this sauce. Well, even though it is from scratch, but I'm sure by making it from scratch, you're going to have a quality taste of making this peanut sauce. And I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. And just cut some cucumber for the satay. So these are the final touch of homemade satay. Thank you for watching. Finally, I would like to wish happy Eid Mubarak to all of you.